Hi everyone, you are going to be watching a guide to assignments. So I'm already logged in, I need to go into the waffle and go to classroom. That will bring me to my Google Classroom. Let's click on it. You will see here it brings you to your stream. Now your stream is where everything gets posted, you might have Google Meets links, you might just have some announcements and also assignments get posted on the stream. That's one way to access your assignment. Let's just have a quick look. So it'll bring you to your assignment. Okay. The other way to access your assignment is to go up to classwork. You will see here, let's just close that. You will see here, this is all the lists of assignments that you've been handed. It's quite confusing sometimes. So what you might need to do is go to view your work. That way you can see what's been assigned, what you're missing, and you can see here, it breaks it down for you. What's assigned, what you've returned, and what's missing. Okay, there's a third way. Without trying to overwhelm you, you can have a look at what you best, what you prefer to access your assignments. You can also go here, it says upcoming. You can click on view all, and you will see, it's very similar to the other way that I just showed you. There's some assigned, assigned assignments, missing assignments, and assignments that you have completed. Obviously this is a test account, so I haven't actually completed any work. Now, let's go to, let's go back to one of our assignments. I'm just going to go scroll down. I'm going to click on this science assignment that year four was assigned. How many times can I say assignment in one sentence? You will see here that um, the teacher has assigned Google Slides, a link, another link. If the class comments is turned on, you can possibly put in a comment here, maybe ask a question. And your actual assignment, the thing that you need to work on is here. It will be linked on this right hand side, your work. So you will go and click on it. Let's say you've been working on all your brilliant science, you're not finished with your work. Okay. Let's go back then to our Google Chrome, sorry, to our Google Classroom tab. Actually, you want to show your teacher, maybe you took a picture of yourself doing that assignment or you wrote something down. Um, you can then take a picture of that on another device and upload it. So you can click here, add or create. And maybe you want to put in um, a picture. So let's browse, it will take you to this. Upload, browse. Um, let's choose this picture. Let's click open. It will upload it. And there you go, an image has been attached. So that's how you can attach certain files, extra files. Right, I now want to turn in my assignment. You will see there is a button here. You will click turn in. And you will make sure that you've proofread your work and you will click in turn in. You will confirm that you are turning that piece of work in. And there you go, it's done. Say you've accidentally clicked that button. You actually want to go back. Maybe you've thought of something else. You want to change it. You will need to click on unsubmit. Unsubmit, unsubmit to add or change attachments. Don't forget to resubmit once you're done. Let's click unsubmit. So that is how you, and now you can go back into your assignment and you can change anything that you want to change. Or you can even delete something. 
let's say you delete this and you accidentally delete your assignment as well. Let's just close this. Now it's deleted, but you need not worry. You can click on make a copy and it will recreate the assignment for you. So that's how you can recover your assignments. Let's click turn it in and it is now done. So let's go to our classroom again. Oh look, woohoo, no work due soon because I've already turned in that assignment. So let's go back and see, let's confirm that we've turned that in. We will click on the done button and you will see that that's done early. Science is finished.